Hey, coin collectors and history buffs. Ever wondered about the story behind the 1950 Lincoln Wheat Penny? With over a century of history, this penny has not only witnessed changes in the American economy, but also in its design and value. In today's video, we'll dive into the rich history of this coin, its design features, and most importantly, what makes some of these pennies worth thousands of dollars. Let's explore the fascinating world of the 1950 Lincoln Wheat Penny. The Lincoln Wheat Penny, first minted in 1909, holds a special place in American numismatic history. This penny is notable for being the first U.S. coin to feature the likeness of a real person, President Abraham Lincoln. Prior to this, U.S. coins had never featured any human faces, following George Washington's belief that such a practice was reserved for monarchies. The 1950 edition of the Wheat Penny is part of this long-standing tradition, bearing Lincoln's iconic right-facing profile on the obverse. What makes the 1950 penny special is its status as one of the most widely circulated and affordable coins from the post-World War II era. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a beginner, this penny is an accessible entry point into U.S. coin collecting. The design of the 1950 Lincoln Wheat Penny is both simple and symbolic. The obverse features Abraham Lincoln's profile, along with the motto, In God We Trust, arched above his head. To the left of Lincoln, the word liberty appears, while the minting year is placed to his right. On the reverse side, the coin earns its name with two wheat stalks bordering the phrase one cent and United States of America. At the top, the Latin phrase e pluribus unum serves as a reminder of the nation's unity. These design elements have remained largely unchanged since the penny's introduction, making it a timeless piece of American coinage. The 1950 Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each of these mints produced slightly different versions of the penny, distinguished by their mint marks. Philadelphia coins have no mint mark, while Denver pennies feature a small D below the mint year, and San Francisco pennies bear an S. Interestingly, despite the San Francisco mint producing the fewest pennies that year, this scarcity has not significantly increased their value. Denver produced the most pennies, over 334 million, making these coins the most common. Philadelphia's coins are also easily accessible, with nearly 273 million produced. The value of a 1950 Lincoln Wheat Penny depends primarily on its condition, or grade, and its color, brown, red-brown, or red. Circulated coins typically have little value, ranging from $0.03 cents to $0.07 cents for Philadelphia or Denver pennies, while uncirculated examples in higher grades, like MS67, can be worth significantly more. For example, a red MS67 penny from Philadelphia can fetch over $1,200. The most valuable 1950 penny sold at auction was a red MS67 plus penny from Philadelphia, which sold for a staggering $10,575 in 2020. Proof pennies, especially those with the deep cameo, DCAM designation, can also be quite valuable, with some fetching prices upwards of $20,000. If you suspect you have a valuable 1950 Lincoln Wheat Penny, it's essential to have it professionally graded. Professional coin graders evaluate each coin based on its strike, color, and condition. Coins in mint state, MS, are graded on a scale of 1 to 70, with MS 70 being a perfect coin. The three color designations, brown, red, brown, and red, are critical in determining a penny's value. Red pennies, which retain their original luster, are the most valuable, while brown pennies, which have oxidized over time, are less desirable. Grading agencies like PCGs and NGC offer reliable certification, ensuring collectors can accurately assess their coin's worth. The 1950 Lincoln Wheat Penny may appear to be just another small coin, but its historical significance and potential value make it a gem for collectors. Whether you're holding onto a penny as a keepsake or looking to evaluate its market worth, understanding the details behind this coin can truly pay off. So, take a closer look at those old pennies. You might just have a small fortune in your hands.